So can you tell me your name and what we're doing here this morning? So my name is Fran Brokaw and um, I'm a member of the Hanover community and we're just coming to um, raise awareness of the struggle that's going on at Standing Rock about the Dakota Access Pipeline. And um, we were really thrilled yesterday, late yesterday, to receive the news that the Army Corps of Engineers has um, stopped. Um, they've actually said they were going to um, not give permission for the easement to cross under the dammed area of the Missouri River. Good morning. Good morning. Want a sign? Sure, why not? I have the no dapple sign. There we go. I made a new one. Let's see, we should probably go up on the other side okay. of the, the barrier. Stoplight. Yeah. And I have hand warmers when people need them. I'll just put them right here. I don't need that yet. Oh, and that's Sharon. You know, Sharon. There's going to be so much work to be done in the coming weeks, days, weeks, months, years. And what should folks be doing right now here in the Upper Valley? They feel so far away, but how can we be connected to those over there? Well, um, I feel as though I helped a little bit. I, it took me three days to get through to the president's office, to their um, call-in line which is only open from nine to five, Monday through Friday. But I, I stood and did a redial for many, 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 many hours and finally got through. And I called, people can call. People can call um, a whole host of agencies um, and they can go to the, to the, the hashtag no DAPL, um, Facebook page and all the information is there okay. and so if they can do that if the calls make a difference there's so many things to be concerned about in the world most recently my biggest concern has been for um, black lives and I've been very involved in Upper Valley search showing up for racial justice um, but there's a huge intersect in the first place. The original reason that we are there, that we are here, is because we, our ancestors stole lands from the indigenous peoples who were here. And, um, and things, things have been continued to be taken from all of the native peoples of this land. And, and that, to me, is racism. So it intersects with racism. And we're, obviously, I'm concerned about the world that is gonna be left for my children and grandchildren and their grandchildren. And I really think that we need to act now. We should have been acting 20 years ago. Um, fight against the continued use and abuse of fossil fuels. It's just stupid. So we should be using renewable forms of energy that aren't contributing to the destruction of the environment. I am really, really inspired by all the people who have gone to Stanley Rock and have maintained a peaceful protest in the face of incredible violence and hostility. It's amazing that thousands of people have maintained their dignity and their prayers in face of that. And I think that that's what we need to do. We need to resist all attempts to be violent and to privatize the world and uh, to the regime that's coming. We need to organize together 
against all forms of oppression and bigotry, including bigotry against the earth. <laughs>